This is a middle loop quick quick class. Hi, I'm Jerry with Middle Loop, and this is a quick class on using the micro SD card on the DJI RC Pro. In today's quick class, we'll show you what you need to change, what's affected, and how to safely eject the card. The RC Pro comes with 32 gigabytes of internal memory, but in reality, after the operating system, you're only left with about 11 gigabytes for what we call the day-to-day -day files. The good news is the RC Pro does allow you to expand the memory by using an external micro SD card, which in this quick class we'll refer to it as the SD card. First we'll show how to change the settings so that the RC Pro starts to utilize the SD card. Next we'll cover what actually changes and what continues to be recorded on the internal memory regardless of the setting. And then some quick information on how to safely dismount the SD card. A quick reminder, if you haven't already done so and you find these videos useful, you might want to hit that subscribe in the lower right. And as always, if you have an idea for a future video, please leave a comment below. Now let's get started. For your convenience, we've provided DJI's list of supported micro SD cards in the description below, which at the time of this recording includes cards as big as 512 gigabytes. That's half a terabyte, which is 16 times the size of the internal hard drive. By default, the RC Pro records everything to internal storage, even if you have an SD card inserted. Now, of course, you can free up memory without changing any setting by using the Files app and simply moving files manually between internal memory and the SD card. However, we assume that you want the RC Pro to use the SD card automatically. For that, you do need to change the setting. You should be aware that even after changing the setting, some things continue to get written to internal storage. We'll cover that in more detail in the next section. To change the current storage location setting on the RC Pro, open the DJI Fly app. Tap on Profile. Next, tap on Settings. Now tap on Storage. And there it is. As you can see, mine is currently set to record to internal storage. Now if you don't have an SD card inserted, obviously you can't change the setting and the screen will look like this. Okay, so with an SD card inserted, to change the setting, simply tap SD card. You are prompted with this option to migrate the data from internal memory to the SD card. Taking the default, which is to migrate the data, files will be copied to the SD card and then deleted from internal memory. In the next section of this tutorial, we'll show what migrates and what doesn't when you select this option. So for now, we'll leave it set as is and migrate the data. Tap Switch, and you get this message when the data has been migrated. Tap OK. Once set, the RC Pro will remember this setting. However, if you dismount the SD card while the RC Pro is powered on, this setting will revert back to internal memory. If that happens, it'll stay that way until you manually switch it back here. Now you can power off the RC Pro, remove the SD card to copy the files to your computer, and then reinsert it back into the RC Pro before powering it on. And this setting will remain set. We'll show how to safely dismount or eject the SD card at the end of this tutorial. By the way, since we're here, Notice this is also where to go to clear the cache on both internal storage as well as the SD card. But that's a whole topic for another video. In a second, we'll go through each of these key files and explain what they are. Note the SD column. This indicates which get written to the SD card and which continue to write to internal memory after changing the current storage location setting to SD card as we did in the previous section. Now the migrated column shows which get moved to the SD card when you actually change the setting. So now let's go through each file type. When you're recording video on the drone, which are typically in 4K resolution or higher, HD quality video cache files are recorded on the RC Pro. These files will be written to the SD card. In addition, photos or videos downloaded from the drone to the RC Pro will also get written to the SD card. Likewise, anything shared to the gallery, as well as some other files that are created in the background, like thumbnails and preview images, all get written to the SD card. However, there are files that continue to go to the internal hard drive. Keep in mind that the current storage location setting is a DJI Fly App setting. Anything Android related, like the operating system itself, or even other apps that use storage, like the browser. Anything downloaded off the internet still uses internal memory regardless of the setting. 
but also screenshots and screen recordings are always written to internal memory. And perhaps less intuitive, the flight record cache files, which get created when you view the flight log on the RC Pro in the Flight Data Center. Just a quick note about ejecting the SD card. With the RC Pro powered on, you should never remove the card without first dismounting it. Eject is what DJI calls dismounts on the RC Pro. There are two places on the RC Pro where you can do this. The first is the Files app. Upon opening the Files app, switch to the SD card by tapping the three bars in the upper left. Select the SD card. My SD card is called Android, which is the name it was given automatically when I formatted it on the RC Pro. It'll be called something different from the factory, which will vary from brand to brand. Once selected, its name will appear at the top. Now tap on the three dots in the upper right and select Storage Settings. At the bottom, tap Eject. When complete, you'll notice that the Files app automatically switched back to internal storage. You can also dismount the SD card by going into Settings on the desktop. Scroll down and tap Storage. At the bottom of the screen, under Portable Storage, here again is my SD card. On the far right, tap the little Eject icon. Personally, my preference is just power off the RC Pro before removing the card. As I said earlier, this has the added benefit of retaining the current storage location setting in the Fly app as long as you remember to put it back in before powering it on again. Incidentally, if you accidentally dismount the SD card, you can remount it here by tapping where it says Ejected and you get this prompt. Simply tap Mount. By the way, we're currently working on another video of where to find key files on both the internal storage and the micro SD card of the RC Pro. When it's done, we'll add a link to that video at the end of this video. Another good reason to subscribe by clicking that icon in the lower right. And if you'd like to be notified whenever we post a new video, be sure to click that notify bell. And don't forget to check out the description below for that list of supported micro SD cards. And if anything changes, I'll be sure to note it there too. Thank you, have a great day, and happy flying.